Yo, what's up, people? This is Sean Shadam, Mr. Sports Genius, formerly known as Sean Don, coming to you with a special episode of Diary of a Man Sports Fan. It's only special because I don't shoot these motherfuckers that often. Because I usually don't get this riled up that often since I've been going to my latest shrink. But um, due to today's um, events in the NFL, trades the Bears made when they traded Roquan Smith for a fucking bag of pistachios and a goddamn player to be named later, basically. Um, I came on here to announce that I'm fucking finished with the Bears. I'm, I'm just completely finished. I watched, uh, pardon the interruption, what Wilbon said. He was almost finished, but he can't do it because it's not it. No, I'm fucking finished. I'm finished with the Bears at least, at least until that fucking 200-year-old cat face bitch whiskey sponge on the Virginia McCaskey finally until they finally come out of that weekend at Bernie shit and announce that she's dead and gone. I'm done with these motherfuckers because I refuse to do this shit over again. I refuse to keep giving these motherfucker chances because they're just doing this to buy time. They do this to buy fucking time from the stupid fucking fans because guess what happens? They hire a stupid fucking general manager. He makes some stupid fucking picks and, and stupid fucking free agent signings and then his stupid ass gets fired and then they bring the next dickhead in and then it's rinse repeat. And each time the fans say, man, give him a chance. Oh, that's three fucking years. I mean, giving these motherfuckers, you know I'm 45 years old. Thank God. I'm 45 years old. Thank God that I made it this far being a fucking Bears fan and being a Chicago fan. Well, previously being a Bears fan. I'm thankful that I made it this far. I can remember back as far as 1985 when I was eight years old. So that means I've been a fucking Chicago fan since, since, since 84, really. Seven years old for 38 years. And I've been watching this shit over and over and over. It is fucking ridiculous. I'm done with these motherfuckers. And you, because guess what? They trade you, you say, man, Roquan wasn't going to sign with you no way. How do you know that? How the fuck do you know that? Tell me this, Einstein's. In the NFL, you have to. And you have to, according to the collective bargaining agreement, spend 90% of whatever the fucking cap is. Who the fuck are you going to spend that money on? Why not give it to Roquan? Why the fuck not give it to Roquan? You got to give it to somebody. No, but would you know what they're going to do? They're going to go out and they're going to go get a bunch of stupid ass white boys and a bunch of dumb ass hardworking black players. And they're going to fill it up with depth instead of quantity instead of quality. That's what they're going to do because they got to spend the money. That's why a lot of people think that the Bears aren't cheap because they'd be like, dude, they spend this much money in caps. But yeah, you have to spend up to 90%. It's against the rules not to. So where the fuck is you going to spend? This dude, Ryan Pace, I mean, Ryan Poles is a fucking, I got a pole for him, all right, to suck. This fucking piece of shit. I hate this dude. I hate this black motherfucker. He makes me go back on everything I said. I, I started, I hated black people as executives and quarterbacks years ago and shit like that. He's making me go back to that standard of hating all the motherfuckers. Because this dude is a stupid piece of shit. He came in here and got rid of everybody that he didn't draft. He got rid of Khalil Mack. And they tell me he was washed up. Go, 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 go look at his fucking stats in San Diego or with the LA charge, whatever the fuck they called right now. And tell me what his stats are. Roquan Smith not only led the lead in tackles this year, <coughs> this motherfucker was tied for the lead in tackles for the last five years. His entire time in the fucking NFL. Tied for the lead. But no, they rebuilding. They need as many draft picks as they get. Why? Why come only certain teams rebuild in the NFL? This is not the NBA. In the NBA, you rebuild because the players got control with player movement and free agency and shit. 
motherfuckers leave your team and you're forced to rebuild. In the NFL, it's not the same. In the NFL, draft picks, you, you have third, fourth, and fifth round draft picks that can wind up cold. If you get fucking four draft picks, say you get four cold draft picks this year, four cold draft picks next year, sign four cold free agents this year, four decent free agents next year, you got 16 players right there on the 53-man roster. In two to three years, you, you, you'll be set. Only teams that fucking rebuild, the only teams that you that rebuild were are the bad fucking ownership teams. The Bears, the Lions, the fucking Browns, um, Cincinnati Bengals. Those are the only motherfuckers that use rebuild. When the last time the fucking the, 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 uh, Ravens rebuilt? Dude been there 15, 16 years. Motherfucking hardball. These niggas ain't never rebuilt. Ain't never talked about rebuilding. And they lost their quarterback and never rebuilt. The Steelers are just now talking about this rebuild shit. And the only reason why is because they wind up going out and signing um, th this fucking idiot Trubisky. And they drafted this rookie quarterback. And they got a hellacious ass schedule because eventually that shit is going to happen for one year. But they really not rebuilding. Because guess what? They might have a weak year this year, but next year they're going to come back cold. Because they're going to know what to fucking do with their first round picks. And they're not going to trade those picks away in three years when they want to get money. You ain't never heard the Steelers um, rebuilding, the Ravens, the Patriots, even right now, they're fucking in a rebuild. And these motherfuckers are like five and three. And they're in the rebuild. Quarterback controversy and shit. But they know how to draft everybody else. They know how to run a fucking organization. This shit is fucking embarrassing. It is absolutely fucking -lutely ridiculous. And I'm sick of this shit. I fucking, I had to pop. I'm actually calmer than I was earlier. I had to pop uh, a couple of Paxu and some, um, what you call this shit, uh, Ativan, which calmed me down a little bit. But I'm telling you right now, I'm sick of these dick suckers. George McCaskey with his fucking porn star mustache. I'm glad that that fan stole on him that time. I wish it was me. Because I promise you, I would have connected way better than dude did. I wish it was me. I hate that motherfucker. I hate Ted Phillips. I hate everybody. I hate Virginia McCaskey for not swallowing when she had the chance. I hate Virginia McCaskey's mama for not swallowing when she had the chance before she was born. These motherfuckers are terrible. This is the worst shit I've ever been through. And I'm a Cubs fan. This is worse. Because it's harder to fucking win in baseball. It is way harder to build teams in baseball. Because baseball, you can have the number one pick and he turned out to be Lance Dixon or some shit. You don't know what you... Dude, first round picks ain't guaranteed to be shit in baseball. Unless you absolutely know what the fuck you're doing. Motherfuckers be injured. Niggas, it be all types of shit to be wrong with people. In baseball. Baseball is the hardest sport to build in. So unless you're a fucking genius, you can fuck it up in baseball. But football, it is hard to fuck it up. Every few years, the Bears win 13 games or more. It is hard to be weak for long. You got to be trying. And that's what the fuck they're doing. They're trying my fucking nerves. They try to be weak. So you motherfuckers can have them. And if you disagree with me, don't get on here trying to tell me nothing different. Because I don't want to have to cuss your ass out. Because I will. I'm going to start creating five or six Instagram pages and five or six um, Facebook pages. Because I know I'm going to be on the blacklist and getting my 30 day. I'm already up for 30 days on one of my pages probably. I haven't gotten it yet, but it's coming. So stay the fuck off my page. You've been warned. I'm trying to fucking be kind. But you've been warned. I'm not Kanye. I'm not going to come out and apologize to nothing I say. So, there you have it. Another episode of that Every Man Sports Fan. If you liked the comment. If you didn't like it, fuck you. Peace and hair grease.